guys and welcome back to another video and today is going to be the first Try Tuesday series here in my YouTube channel. Um, so what that is, every other week I'm going to pick something that I want to try and we will try it together and see if we accomplish it. So for today I wanted to try the Pom Pom Wall Decor. Recreated. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing, but um, we just we're just gonna try and see what we come up with. So if you want to see how to create the wall decor pom pom, just keep watching. Okay, so for your materials, we need a canvas or some type of frame to glue these on. You need a hot glue gun. You need your yarn, scissors, and that's it. All right, so once you've gathered all of your materials, you are going to want to start by making all the little pom-poms. I have already made some, as you can see here, but I'm going to show you how I made these little guys. They take a long time. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you can pick whatever color you want to make your pom-poms. I picked this like royal deep blue. And I wanted some other colors in it. You can tell I've used up a lot because they're so flat. But um, you pick whatever colors you want and you make your pom-poms whatever sizes you want. Um, it's important to look at the sizes of your pom-poms with whatever frame you're going to get. I Let me show you the back of this frame. This is an old frame I had. Um, it's ugly, so I don't want to use this anymore. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to flip it over and this is where all of my pom-poms are going to live. So let's get to it. Alright, so first, um, there's a lot of methods to do the pom-poms. What I found the best for me was to just wrap it around my fingers. So what I'm going to do, um, usually if you do like the four fingers, you're going to get the bigger pom-poms, less fingers, smaller pom-poms. So what I did, I just start wrapping the yarn all over my fingers. So I just wrap it. And you need a lot of yarn. The more yarn you use, the fluffier they will look. You just got to keep going. So once you see that you've got a big chunk of yarn wrapped around your fingers, you also don't want to do it too tight. You're going to cut off that. And then you're going to cut another piece. This is what you're going to be wrapping it with. So I do about that size. So you cut it and then you start sliding them off. I hope you guys can see this. I hope it's in focus. And what I do is I wrap it this way and then I sneak it through my fingers from the back. And trust me guys, you can look up pom pom making videos and you're probably going to find one that's a lot better than this. But this is what I did and this is what worked. So then once it's wrapped in there, I can let go. And you want to make sure that it's in the middle. And then you just start tying it. And then you got to be careful that you don't break the yarn too. Once it's secure, it's going to look something like this. And the fun and messy part. I recommend that you guys get something... Um, like a trash can or something nearby so that you can just cut it and shape it and it's a better cleanup after because it does get messy but what you want to do is you just want to cut every little loop that you have so you cut and you cut Once you have every loop cut, it's going to look something like this. I like to grab the pom-pom by the strings that I wrapped the whole yarn with. That way, I shake it. And 
and this is what I have. So this is where you can shape them and see the difference. So you can shape them, of course, um, the more yarn, like I said, you use the tighter it looks and you just want to shape it to whatever size you want and you just start snipping away. Once your pom-pom is to the shape that you want, I get a last shake and this is what I have. So, I've already made my, um, I've already made the rest of my pom-poms and now the fun part begins. I think I already said that. Okay, so what you're going to do is whatever you have, you can literally buy a canvas. Um, I just wanted to get rid of this ugly thing. You can get a canvas, a frame, anything that you have available. You can even purchase whatever you want your pom-poms to live in. And you just start gluing them on. So the application process, I'm going to be doing um, the hot glue. So I'm going to be using the hot glue gun and what? so I left the little piece where they were being tied from so I know which way my pom pom is going to go. Um, so I'm just going to place that to be the bottom and what I do is I'm going to do a circle of hot glue gun and start placing them. What I recommend doing first, well let's actually do this. Um, place the pom poms in the desirable place that you want on your canvas, on your frame, whatever you guys are putting them on. Um, make sure you place them first to see if you like the placement of them and then once you're happy with that arrangement, then you can go ahead and start gluing them on. Let's do that first. Okay guys, and something happened to my footage here after this clip where I just started basically gluing every single pom pom with the hot glue gun and that's basically all you have to do. Alright guys, that was it for today's first try Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed um, making these pom poms. I know I had a lot of fun creating this. I am just going to go find a place for it now. But stay tuned for more do-it-yourself projects, um, other tries that I'm going to go ahead and find. And I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. If you have other great ideas out there, please, I am open to any ideas. Just put them down in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!